activities have tipped the skills against the survival of these ancient mariners. When will this end? is endangered for several different factors. Quick break. Although all sea turtles are endangered, we'll be talking about the Kemp's Ridley for this portion of the video as it is a turtle native to South Texas. Now, back to the video. So the Kemp's Ridley is really unique and that it's nesting primarily at a beach in Mexico, along with some small nesting here in South Texas. And so at that beach in Mexico, it's primary nesting beach, there is a lot of take of eggs on the beach. And then we had both juveniles and adults that were caught as bycatch. In the, the best thing that you can do if you're out fishing, like with a fishing pole and you happen to catch a turtle, is to actually call us here at Sea Turtle Inc. We have a 24 seven emergency response number. And if you give us a call, we can come out and we can get that turtle. And we'll actually bring it back here so that we can evaluate it. We can take the hook out. Um, and one of the big ways that we can help our sea turtles is through recycling. So reducing the amounts of single-use plastics that we use, recycling what we can. Um, things like bringing a reusable water bottle with you when you go to school. Uh, you can cut down on the number of plastic bottles that end up in the ocean. Now with um, climate change, we are seeing an increase in our beach temperatures and that can affect the development of our eggs. Mm. So sea turtles have something called temperature dependent sex determination, which means that they don't have sex chromosomes like you and I, but rather their sex is determined by the temperature that they're developing at. So having warmer temperatures, that would tend to produce more females for our sea turtles and cooler temperatures produce males. Once they get into the water, they're at risk for uh, fish predation. So a lot of fish will feed on our hatchings. They're small, they're easy to kind of fit inside the mouth, and if a fish can fit it in its mouth, it's probably gonna eat it. As they get a little bit bigger, then their predators are fewer. So as they're bigger, then we're gonna see only larger fish that might be able to feed on them. And as we get to adult-sized turtles, the only major predator, our natural predator that they would see would be potential sharks. So another way that you can help protect sea turtles is donating to Sea Turtle Inc. Um, you can donate monetarily. You can also donate your time by volunteering with us and coming mm -hmm. to help on site to educate others about sea turtles. Now back to the question. When will this end? And the only way to put a stop to this ongoing problem is if we all work together to pick up any trash and reuse things as well as bring awareness. So with information gathered in this video, we can now educate ourselves on what to do to help the sea turtles.